Welcome to uh, Daily Devotions. This is for Tuesday, uh, March 14th, 2023. Uh, we had for this Sunday a very long reading from John chapter 4 about uh, Jesus and a Samaritan woman at a well. Uh, and uh, I only preached on just a small part of it. So I thought I would uh, take another look at just a section of that. So uh, uh, John chapter 4, beginning at verse 7. A Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone into town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How is it that you, a Jew, ask a drink of me, a woman of Samaria? And Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it was that was asking to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. Well, uh, as I was reading that, this is just a simple situation of uh, Jesus being thirsty in a hot, dry place, asking for water. Uh, and it becomes this sort of interesting thing where water suddenly becomes a metaphor uh, for the life that uh, Jesus was there to bring into the world. And um, there was something very familiar about that. Uh, and so I uh, jotted down a quick list off the top of my head of, uh, of 10 different stories that kind of came to mind uh, to me. Uh, and there are places in the Bible where people eating food or drinking something um, ends up being uh, a much bigger significance uh, than uh, simply a meal that was laid out in front of them. So here's my, my rundown of my list. We have, of course, uh, got to start off with Adam and Eve and the apple. Uh, we have Moses uh, and manna in the wilderness. Uh, we have Esau, uh, who sells his birthright uh, for a bowl of porridge. We have the Passover lamb uh, that was slain so that the Israelites might be free from Egypt. Psalm 23, uh, there's a very famous verse where David says, and a lot of people take this as about describing heaven, uh, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. My cup runs over. Uh, then, of course, uh, we have in Jesus's life, we have him turning water into wine. Uh, we've got Jesus uh, referring to himself as the bread of life. Uh, we have story of Jesus taking a little boy's a basket of bread and fish and feeding 5,000 people. Uh, we've got the story after the resurrection of Jesus walking along with people on the road to Emmaus, and uh, they don't recognize this Jesus until he actually breaks bread with them. And then, of course, um, the reason I'm sitting up here right now uh, is we have uh, that uh, last supper, uh, that meal where Jesus uh, took uh, the wine and blessed it and broke bread and said, uh, this is my body, this is my blood. Uh, and uh, we remember that meal uh, whenever we gather together for worship on Sundays. I, uh, I grew up uh, saying grace before every meal, and uh, that's something that I've uh, continued to do in my life. And uh, I think at first, um, maybe I confused it with politeness, uh, or that somehow I should thank God for meals, but I could skip snacks, uh, and I didn't have to worry about gasoline that I pumped at a store or clothes that I put on my back. Maybe I should show more gratitude towards that. Now I'm thinking those times when I remember uh, to stop and to give thanks before a meal is because Throughout history, uh, somehow, we human beings are hardwired uh, to experience something deep inside uh, surrounding meals. Uh, when I say the word family, I think sometimes the first image we have is uh, a group of people that are gathered around a table. And uh, I suppose you could argue in in the Bible's eyes, uh, the dining room is the holiest part of the house. Um, and so um, I want to try for Lent 
uh, to think more about the food I'm eating and what is the spiritual message uh, that Jesus is giving me that day. I don't know where that will lead, uh, but um, there's a long history behind that. So I invite you to have a little fun today. Um, uh, Say grace before meals, but then think during the meal. Is there more than just food here in front of me? Is there uh, a message from God that I need to remember? Well, let's pray. Um, Let's say grace. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless our meals, whether we eat them alone or with others. Uh, And may uh, your grace come through more than just through food, uh, but through uh, your word, which brings us life. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Take care.